How is everyone doing? This is Joe and welcome to Ohio Woodburner. Guys, it is a gorgeous, bright, sunshiny day here in Northeast Ohio. Guys, it's been a week since that snowstorm. I'm not gonna say it was a calamity, but it turned out to be a pretty significant event. We had a bunch of rain that came right before the storm. So the ground was just totally saturated. Then the storm came and it was just a wet, heavy snow. And it wound up tearing down a bunch of trees. And this area was without power for a while. Our power was interrupted and that's really what caused our videos to get out of sequence. Uh, we just couldn't get a lot of the filming done that we wanted to. But it was a lot of work for me to get all dug out so that we could get back to selling firewood. Uh, we had just about a foot of snow. And this snow was wet and heavy. Um, anyone that uh, is familiar with the winters up here in Northeast Ohio, our area is called the snow belt and we've earned that distinction. You have to have a two stage snow blower if you live in this part of the country. And if you don't know what one is, go ahead and check it out on uh, the internet. A two stage snow blower can handle just about anything, but uh, it didn't like this last snow. We were snowed in for a while and it took us a while to get the driveway cleared off. But the video that you're getting ready to see is me getting uh, the, the yard cleaned up and getting this back to where we can sell firewood. I hope that you enjoy this guys and on with the show.
If you remember the video I posted where I was getting ready for the snowstorm, this was the rose that I had tarped off and it really does work. Uh, the day that the snow stopped, I just ripped the tarps off because that sun hits these logs and it gets the snow off pretty good. These rows, I didn't tarp it. And look how the snow just sticks around. That snow is again, real wet and heavy. And then it thawed and then it froze. And now I got about you know, six inches of just frozen snow on top. And that's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. This is still gonna be a challenge for me because I keep growing. I have a place where I store my wood to dry and it's easy for me to get my trailer to. But you know, I keep growing and I gotta have more inventory. And as I get more inventory, it spreads out over the yard. Well, then the challenge is when the snow hits, <laughs> I can't get to it. It looks like it's in a really good spot in the summertime or in the late fall when the ground's still dry, but I'm, I'm snowed out of some of my snow right now. I can't get to it. Uh, the one thing that I'm doing now, and I'll post some videos of this going forward, is I have a old uh, four, four wheeler and I have that Ultratech dump trailer. So I, my last load that I delivered yesterday, I uh, hauled it all out uh, from the wood yard to the pavement so I could load up my truck. You know, that one truck I have, it doesn't get very good traction at all. And I just gotta be careful where I put it. Guys, before we get back to the video with more of my snow removal, there's something I wanna ask of you. Um, there is a channel out there that I love. I think this guy does a great job. The channel is called Armin's High Life. And uh, he is, he might have hit 100 subscribers, but he's coming up on 100 subscribers. He has a giveaway that's set up. But I'm serious, this is, he's got a great channel. And he, um, he's got a drone and he's out in uh, Canada. He has got some of the nicest uh, footage that I have seen. He had a recent video where he was uh, on a logging site where they allowed him to come take some tops. And just the scenery is just gorgeous. Uh, Armin's High Life. I'll put a link in the description below, but he's a hard worker and serious. He has a firewood processor. It's a Range Road. And if you're familiar with Range Road, you know, they're a smaller processor and his, uh, his machine is something. Uh, he has done a lot of modifications to it. Um, it also uh, burned up in a barn fire and he resurrected it from that. And uh, this thing belongs in the Firewood Hall of Fame. So if you get a chance, check out this channel and please subscribe to him. Enough of me talking guys, back to the show. That's what you gotta do when you live in Northeast Ohio. I had uh, told you about this storm that was coming and we got pretty much a foot of snow. It is a real wet, wet, heavy snow. And uh, it started compressing as soon as that uh, sun come out. 
but you know what I got to get done here is get all of the snow pushed off the wood I have an order that's going to go out in the next two days so if I can get all that snow off the wood that will the Sun will do its work it'll come off pretty easy that'll make um, loading my truck a lot easier too you see what happens too you know I got to shovel out all that snow and then I pull the truck to where the Sun's gonna shine on that bed and it'll be ready to go here in no time so I'm standing here thinking <laughs> I could be sitting in a cubicle right now in a nice warm office but you know what I still wouldn't trade it guys this is what I want to do this is nice, it's enjoyable, and you know, dealing with the elements, especially here in Ohio, is all part of the program. Lake effect snow, that is the word of the day. This storm came up from the south and it pushed a lot of moisture our way and that's where all that rain was coming on my video previous. Once that got up into here, you know, it's counterclockwise motion and it went up into Canada and just brought all of that cold air over Lake Erie and it dumped it right on top of us. We could get nothing accomplished yesterday. It, it just snowed. You can see how my day starts though. You know, I gotta get all the snow off of the trucks and get some shoveled off the ground. Um, and then, you know, I start getting hot and I can take that uh, red coat off. That coat is made of wool and that helps me also filling up the hardy. Because uh, that um, furnace will bite you sometimes when you open that door. There's a lot of heat that will come rushing out and you want to wear like a nice wool coat over top of it. But you know guys, what I failed to plan for is uh, the moment this snowstorm hit, I got a phone call from the barbecue place that only cooks with oak. And I'm not going to be able to take them a full cord. So what I did, come on over here. I just brushed off the snow and I'll be taking this, uh, these two rows here. This will just be a half a cord. And as soon as you get the snow pushed off of this, that sun comes out and then the snow goes away pretty quick. You know, it goes with these restaurants. You have a sense on how much they use, but that new barbecue joint that uses the oak, uh, they're new still. And I just don't, I just don't have a feel for how much consumption that they, that they have. And sure enough, the moment that snowstorm hit, they call and they needed some wood. I made sure that they have enough to get through the week at least, but still I'm gonna get ready to take a load up and we talked about bringing them a half cord so I don't have to use the trailer. And uh, this will just get loaded into my truck and I'll be able to get it uh, backed up uh, to their woodshed. You know, and it's not just uh, getting my trailer loaded or my truck loaded here. It's what am I gonna deal with when I get up there? You know, they pay uh, people to snow plow and who's to say that that plow didn't put all the snow right where the uh, trailer had to go. So even if the roads are clear and I can get the trailer loaded, I might not be able to get my trailer near the woodshed. So it makes sense just to take them up a half cord right now. And, um, and you know, the guarantee to them is when they need the rest of it, I can bring it up, uh, no problem. We got the Yappa 365 Pro cleaned off too. You know, it had a lot of snow on top of it. You know, it just feels weird. That's a that's an expensive machine and it just sits out in the elements. It's, it's made to be like that. But, uh, you know, I'm still getting the snow cleaned off of it. I'm curious to see how these belt in feeds work. If I were going to process wood today, would they be froze up, you know, or would they break loose? That's going to be something that we can experiment going forward with our, with our videos here into the winter. You know, we started this channel in March. So this is a new experience, not only dealing with the snow and showing you guys what we have to do with um, snow removal here in Ohio uh, to run a firewood uh, delivery service, but also filming in the snow because, you know, hands get cold, things can freeze up and dealing with this wind, you know, um, uh, the wind just cuts right through you here, especially where we sit. We're kind of high on a ridge and um, we have, you know, it's out in the middle of farmlands too. So there's not a lot of trees that can buffer us from the wind. Just remember, we post videos every Wednesday and Sunday and we are having a blast making them. I really want to thank everyone for watching the channel. It means a lot to us. If you haven't liked this video, please do so and hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Everyone have a great day.